This video focuses on merging list elements in QuickBooks Online. Now you can't delete list elements, and I mean by list elements I mean your products and services, customers, vendors, or your chart of accounts as I'm on here. And I'm actually in my QBO client file from QuickBooks Online Accountant. So you notice I have a couple accounts payable here. And just to merge them, all I want to do is edit the account and take out the two. They need to be the same category type as well as the detail type, which they are. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save and Close. And then that name is already being used. Would you like to merge the two? And click Yes. And now I just have the one accounts payable. And I can do the same with the accounts receivable as well. Again, you edit it. Make sure it's the same detail type. Make sure you spell it exactly as the one you want to merge it into. Click Save and Close. You'll get the warning that the name already exists. You want to merge the two, click yes. And now I have just the one accounts receivable. Now let's go down to coffee expense. And notice I have a coffee expense account. Now I also have, if you choose to include an active, when you click on the, the, the baby gear, if you will, the little settings for the chart of accounts, I have coffee deleted. So when you delete list elements, it does not delete them from the list, it just makes them inactive. So I'm going to click to make this coffee active again. And coffee's now active. And because of the detail type is the same, I can do the same thing. You know, edit the account, change it to coffee expense, and I'll get the pop-up to merge and it will merge them. Be very similar for customers, vendors, or your products and services.